Okay. This is a quick video about the um, torsion box uh, vacuum table that I'm looking at doing with the Yeti Smart Bench. Um, uh, this is the way I usually line my drawings up. I first scene I use my goals so that it's a torsion box for the Smart Bench. I want a fairly lightweight <coughs> vacuum table for full sheets for, with indexing to a home position. Um, a replaceable top can either be that top or apply another skin on top and redrill it. Doesn't matter. Uh, the vacuum would be supplied by a wet dry shop vac, possibly two, depends on the holding setup. Um, I may be able to put handles on the sides. I have to look at how much space I have because the X beam is wider than the 48, 49 inch wide panel. So if I can put handles on the sides, probably on just one side opposite the indexing jig, uh, it make it easier to load this thing up and on the table or not. Um, doing the hose connections on the end, and the ends are inset a bit, uh, and I've lost parts. Um, uh, I was cleaning up some, erasing some stuff, and I don't know what all I highlighted, but, uh, so the ends would be inset, uh, they're gone, uh, inset onto the ends, um, uh, so that they're out of the way of the machine moving back and forth. The ends are inset, so that it'll have a little two, three inch area to put clamps and stuff like that. And that I can screw through it in this area onto the table within the 21 inches or however wide the, the table is into the existing panels that are with the smart bench. Uh, this should give you an idea what a torsion box is. A torsion box is a lattice work of webbing that uh, goes together. Um, they could be circular holes or rectangular holes. I just did rectangles so that when I put a vacuum attached here, it's going to go through all of these and all of the horizontal and, and vertical members are going to be sealed except for the top, which will have holes drilled in it. Um, this is a picture of the webbing on the inside and again, there should be an end piece here. I don't know when I deleted it. I'll have to look at it. So I've, I've boogered the drawing a little bit. I can't import it right into um, VCarve. Typically what I do is I draw things in, in SketchUp sometimes and just import them straight into VCarve. It'll fix things like these circles because they're not really a circle. In um, It's a series of straight lines to points, and it approximates a circle. But when it gets into SketchUp, from SketchUp into VCarve, SketchUp will recognize that and go, hey, that should be a circle. Let's make it arcs so that between these points that we can see here, that's a straight line, it'll have that to be an arc, a curve that makes a series of congruent arcs which makes the circle. Uh, so that's what a web, a, a torsion box looks like. Um, and I've got different scenes where I've turned on and off and hidden different drawings. So these long stringers will be cut like this. And then VCarve will go in and because when a, when a router bit cuts this, it's going to leave um, a bit of an arc Mm, that's not right, uh, but it's going to leave a bit of an arc there, a rounded part. I can't move it right. I don't. But it'll, it'll leave a rounded corner here, and that's so these parts won't fit properly. But VCarve will come in, come in and see these and go, "Hey, how do you want me to fix this?" You can, it can, it can do an additional uh, bit off to the side this way. and cut this area out, or it can do it down here toward the bottom. It, it lets you choose how you want it done. Control Z to undo. Um, so I just draw the basic shape, and that's half of the thickness of this upright. These uprights are dadoed into the bottom, and then um, they will be dadoed into the top as well. And the top will have some additional holes uh, on them for a... Um, those are the sizes. That gives you an idea of that. Uh, panels with dimensions. Yeah, I don't know where my dimensions went. Okay, there they are. So what I did was I was going to have an indexing point here, basically, <clears throat> where I could slide a full sheet on, slam it down against this corner. It'll be held against this edge and this edge of an edge that's cut on, and laying on top of the top of the vacuum table. And then I will also have um, holes in the top 
of the panel like this that'll be at the um, intersection points of the webbing and so those holes will have uh, threaded inserts in them so that I could later come in and create on the machine an, an L shaped or X or a, a, a three sided shape it doesn't matter but a jig that will drop in and be able to be screwed in to these existing threaded inserts um, this whole face will have a series of small holes drilled into it for the vacuum to be to be pulling these panels down and so I'll get some laminate that will be in strips that I can lay and block off a lot of the areas that are not being used so if I was doing it like this rather than a full nested sheet and I was, I've had a customer ask about hey I just want to do my drilling operations on the smart bench I'm gonna cut them on a track saw so he just wants to put his end panels down and, and ping pong between base end panels so he'll have a left here and a right here I just copied it over but I mean he'll have the opposite here and so it'll work here it'll move here he'll lift this one up move it drop another blank down finishes here comes here picks this one up drops another blank down and just ping pongs back and forth um, so that's what the idea of this is and and I just did this real quick that's actually way up above the material but uh, so these would be lined up and, and working oh, gosh I don't know when I've played with this and, and over the series of a couple weeks have refined it thought about new things refined it and refined it so I'm probably putting a lot more thought into this trying to let it do too many different things and could just build a couple of them that are separate and distinct and made for a certain application and let it go uh, but that's the idea of a torsion box vacuum table um, just attach your vacuum hose here flip it on and let it work now this is different than vacuum hose and the dust extractor up top that's going to be separate so this should work for you. Um, I'm going to probably cut it this week, um, and if I do, I'll of course I'll do a big video and put it on the on the web, and have the pros and cons of however it worked. Let me know if you have any questions.